Hi guys, welcome back to another Galaxy Grand Prime video. Now, in my last video, which I told you how you can get the Galaxy On 7 Pro ROM, you guys asked me why did it, I told you how to install it. Cause later the installation process was same, but still, some of you guys are still newbies. You just used your Grand Prime for three past years, just like my mom, and now you want to modify your device and get a bit of the latest taste on your Grand Prime. So here is how to install the Note 7 like Grace UX ROM still Lollipop on your Galaxy Grand Prime. So if you don't already know, you have to install a top recovery. You have to just press the I button over here. Here and it will guard you how you can install to up recovery i know it's a bit older video my ascent is weird but still it will help you now hold on your volume a power button and the home button at a time as you can see i'm just uh, charging my grand prime cause i forgot to i'm just a rookie youtuber as you can see i'm in the recovery your recovery might be a bit different because i have the themed one now you have to just go to the wipe advanced wipe dial with catch system catch and the data no need of internal storage or the micro sd card let it wipe done go to the install now search for your two zips the and the G apps in order to get the Play Store working. Now, as you can see, Gracified Hybrid over here. Add more zips and then flash the G app. As you can see, it also has an Aroma installer in order to install easily for you guys. Next, agree. Next, we just did a format. You don't have to format again, so just refresh only. All of this ROM works on G530H only, not 530F or FZ or any M. Now, you have to still check which kind of 530 do you have. Now, the options over here are for the single SIM 530H XXE, which I guess mine is, but mine is actually the dual sims xcu and xcs now majority of you will have this middle one so i will just go with it now you get the option for super su dolby atmos let's just go for the dolby atmos this installation wouldn't take much of your time just like five to ten minutes this wouldn't take even like two minutes or long it's just installing like one and a half minute which was very fast for grand prime let's just hit next don't reboot device let's just hit the next again and it will start installing the g apps for the google play services and the play store this also wouldn't take much of your time as you can see the g apps also have been installing this rom so let's just reboot the system right away now it will ask you for the super issue but it's already pre-rooted you just do not install and the rom will now take 8 to 10 minutes for booting now once you install a top breaker it also say it over here so as i was correct it just booted in like 8 to 10 minutes but as you can see this is the new on 7 pro rom so as you can see wi-fi is confirmed working let's just uh, connect the phone is in total brightness so sorry for this black background let's just next I agree as you already know we have all the g apps installed so it will check for the google services too there you go you can fill up your email over here skip skip next skip next more next for 2014 i bought this for 16,000 rupees and it was quite a good deal at that price point snapdragon 14 and the developer has really done very nice job as you can see all of the apps are updating in the background I have used the J2 AC and completely looks like this. As you can see, the gallery icon is a bit different, but still uh, no issues at all. Phone, totally like a Note 7. Next is the contacts, fully works again. And apps open very quick. There you go, messages. Messages is a bit weird. Just don't take this ROM as the assumption. The developer is still trying to develop this ROM and implementing more of the like Grace UX apps from the Note 7. For example, this music app. As you can see, it's from the Note 7. It doesn't look like the older one, which was from the S5. You can expand it over here. Just fully works. Now let's just hop on to the settings there you go settings has been totally themed about device galaxy on 7 still over there android security patch march as you can see 5.2.1.1 now it has been in the news one developer got the marshmallow booting not literally booting to the setup screen but actually booting the jfuzz marshmallow update there are still hopes that we can actually see a galaxy asset rom for this thing because some of the galaxy asset apps do run i'm not going in depth with the camera because it's literally same with the on 7 rom now if you want the in-depth review of this camera you can hit the i button again over here for watching my on 7 pro rom review now this is actually the same base of the on 7 rom so in feature wise it's not even different at all only the rom has been re-themed over here as you can see all of the apps just look like the galaxy note 7 you get the gallery over here again white and stuff you get the video you can also install the galaxy note 7's memo app onto this rom which is very nice touch go into the my files as you can see totally been grist then you get the google apps dolby atmos over here as we installed in the setup let us take a closer look at this quick settings panel as you can see it's totally been grist theme it totally looks like a galaxy j2 ac or the grand prime plus in pakistan as you can see you get all of the toggles you also have ultra power saving now if you want the ultra data saving you can just download the opera max and it will work as some of you guys told me in the last video that the ultra power saving was not working here you go it's been fixed let's just enable it for the proof there you go ultra power saving fully working so guys thanks for watching this was i guess a long review of a grace ux for our galaxy grand prime hope you guys enjoyed and if you want more videos cause little i'm planning more videos with this grand prime such as what things you can do with in 27 with your 2014 device so if you don't want to miss that subscribe down there and see you in the next one peace